Uh, Haydock, you've missed nothing. Let's join Stuart Machin for the Gretsch family handicap hurdle. With Dunlock Bay in a pale blue jacket, the white faced Kill Cooley, and right down on the inner close to the rail, Taj Badalandabad, Cafe Ole in the red and yellow close up in behind him on landing. And then Tap Knight out wide from Muckle Row in a white sleeve jacket. Uh, the well back River Deep and the spots of purple and orange in touch. And there's a small break to the uh, final two. The East to be pair are wanting no part of this early gallop. A get a buzz and run ructions run in the orange silks, racing side by side at the tail of the field. So around the turn, bringing them into the straight first time and to the end of half a mile. And Kill Cooley now assuming the front running roll in the hands of Charlie Deutsch, closely attended by Dunlock Bay and Ryan Mann on the far side. But a little break on the others, headed by Café Ole. Dunlock Bay untidy over the second. Get a buzz. Left a trailing leg in last place. Still run, ructions run. Ridden with patience last but one. So they come to the middle one up the straight first time. Kill Cooley from Dunlock Bay. This time it was Kill Cooley who was untidy. Café Ole landed in third from Abracadabra Civila, reined back by Paddy Brennan. Red Cap having been forcing the gallop going to the first. He's upsized Taj Badalandabad. Connor O'Farrell and David Pipe chasing a quick fire double. As they step out over the fourth. Tap night on the near side of Muckle Row and then River Deep and get a buzz and run ructions run. At last, a couple of lengths adrift as they move up to the judge with a circuit ahead of them. So Kill Cooley with an advantage now of around about six or seven lengths over Dunlock Bay. There's a further four, maybe five length break to Abracadabra Civila, who disputes third round in the paddock turn with Taj Badalandabad on the inner and Café Ole wider out. And then Tap Knight in the McManus hoops as Kill Cooley uh, runs around. There's a little bit of a look at the stable exit round in the corner. Still leads. The other end of the field, Tap Knight has now come under pressure, going to lose ground. River Deep being bustled along, next door to Muckle Row. Get a buzz and run, ructions run, still ridden with patience as they race downhill to the first of three flights across in the back straight. Kill Cooley with an advantage of still around five lengths over Dunlock Bay heading the pursuit, but untidy Kill Cooley. Abracadabra Civila travelling kindly, red cap for Paddy Brennan as Dunlock Bay comes under pressure and quickly folds and Get a Buzz is uh, beginning to lose touch and Tap Knight is struggling. So they enter the last mile of the race. Kill Cooley skipping neatly over that one from Abracadabra Civila and Taj Badalandabad hunting in pairs in behind. And then Muckle Row in a white sleeve jacket getting a little bit closer to them from River Deep, the retreating Dunlock Bay. Cafe Ole under pressure out wide. Run, ructions run in the orange silk still, ridden with patience by James Reevely. Then get up past the white face and a long gap to Tap Knight. Kill Cooley has completed the jumping in the back straight, still with his clear advantage over Taj Badalandabad and Abracadabra Civila. Muckle Row in fourth. Run Ruction's run has improved into fifth, but he's now having some pressure applied. At River Deep at this stage looks to have Mountain High to scale if he's to win this. Michal Nolan working away as they run out of the back straight, and Kill Cooley is getting loose on the lead here. Having been given a breather down the back, has gone bounding on by some 12 to 15 lengths from Taj Badaland about an Abracadabra Civila chasing, then run Ruction's run and Muckle Row, the rest coming home at wide margins, and now can Kill Cooley keep going in front? Taj Badaland about is giving chase. Kill Cooley, though, is safely over the third last with his long lead, still 15 lengths, over Taj Badaland about, then Abracadabra Civila, run Ruction's run, keeping on under pressure. Kill Cooley at the penultimate flight, over it, as still with a huge lead. If any, he's gone further clear. Run Ructions run moving into second ahead of Taj Badalandabad and Abracadabra Civila. Uh, they're having a real set two for the placings. The bird has surely flown though. Kill Cooley at the last draws to it and over safely and over miles clear of Run Ructions run is in second. Abracadabra Civila in third and then Taj Badalandabad with uh, legs of jelly and Kill Cooley sauntering up towards the line. Charlie Deutsch has committed daylight robbery here. They didn't see which way he went as Kill Cooley, with any amount in hand, cruises up to the line for an emphatic success. Uh, Kill Cooley has him frozen out. Run Ruxians run in second, Abracadabra Civila in third, then Taj Badalandabad and Muckle Row. Well, last time Kill Cooley ran, he bumped into Lamy Serge, and not surprisingly, he wasn't 
uh, a match for that horse, giving him a little bit of weight, but the time of the Newbury race relatively that day was quick, and 